Vlog number two, welcome back. DJSD Vlogs, brand new intro, brand new camera. I think, in my opinion, we're looking a million times better than the last video as it was all filmed on a GoPro, the last one. So, from now on, the footage is going to be sick. Today, we're going to talk about my home setup. I'm going to take you upstairs in a sec to my room and show you basically what I use at home to record my mixes, to pre record all my radio shows if I need to pre record them. Most of them I do live in the studio um, talk you through how I built my DJ booth because you can't really buy the one, you can buy the one I've got but it's essentially a bookshelf a load of other shelves put together um, also just a quick social media plug if you want to know where any of my gigs are if you want to know where my radio shows are follow me on Twitter, I'll link it here and Instagram there and that's how you can keep up to date about where I am, what I'm doing, what time my radio show is, what radio it's on, whereabouts I am playing and stuff like that. So make sure you follow me. Okay, so this is my DJ booth or DJ stand, whatever you want to call it. Essentially, this should be the other way. It's just a bookshelf. Six feet at the bottom, holding it up higher. This thing here is a long bookshelf with two smaller bookshelves for the speakers. You can do this, honestly, you can do this so many different ways. If you go on um, Google, type in like IKEA bookshelf DJ booth, something like that. I think most people call it like the I IKEA DJ hack booth or some, sh some shit like that. Um, and for a guy that does not do DIY, it was rather easy to to assemble so i definitely recommend giving it a shot you can have these any way you want you can either have it without the feet sat right down and get an even get a, a wider bookshelf see it's like when i get a wider one have it even higher and put the decks on top of that one then the speaker stands whichever way you want to do it yeah, i kind of like these curved so it's up oh, and then up i kind of like that so again you can have these facing outwards as well i was going to do like an assemble video but I thought I'm probably not the best guy to um, to be doing one of them, to be fair. I need this also from Ikea. Just little drawers that holds up on my camera stuff. Crazy messy in there though. So let's talk equipment. This is a Pioneer DDJ SX2. I got an absolute bargain. I think I paid £400 for this and it's only like three months old. Absolute bargain. And that fits rather nicely in between the... Two um D brackets. So I'm running that with Serato DJ sore subject in my life at the minute. I had to change from Scratch Live to this, in my opinion, piece of shit. As it keeps crashing at every single gig. I but I'll get into that in another video actually. I'm, I'm actually gonna dedicate a whole video to talking about why I dislike Serato DJ. But yeah, um that's on a MacBook Pro 15 inch. If you want all the specs of that, let me know. I'm not going to get into it just yet, but let me know if you want uh, the specs on the MacBook Pro and everything. This stereo, is, the speakers are literally just, it's just a hi fi system. There's nothing amazing. They're not the greatest, but they do the job. So that's perfect for me. I do want some of the Rocket speakers, the Rocket range, because they just look immense and I've heard they sound brilliant as well. As I was editing this video, I forgot to talk about this. This is, uh, it's off eBay actually, it costs about 15 quid, 10 pound, 15 pound. Um, it's just a mic boom arm, basically when I pre-record, I don't pre-record that many shows, but once a month I have to pre-record, if I can't make a certain show or something I have to pre-record, um, so that's just my microphone that I pre-record with, it's, I'm not even going to get into the specs of that because it is a shit mic, um, but again, it, I don't need anything too fancy so. That's just the mic boom arm connected to the long bookshelf. Now let's talk about my future plans for this. It's still not 100% complete. Basically, I want to put in LEDs in the empty slots and LEDs under there, maybe blue or just white ones. I just think it'll finish it off. It'll finish it off nicely. So that's my future plans for the DJ booth. Big up everyone who's watched this video. Um, sorry if it wasn't too, if it wasn't in depth enough here. Uh, I don't want to make this channel too 
too techy or anything like that. I want to keep it just basic. I want to, like I said in the last video, I just want to share what I work with, what I use. Um, so stay tuned, like the video, subscribe to my channel, the subscribe account. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Don't forget, follow me on all social medias as well. The next video will be Sunday. I'll hopefully get it uploaded for, because it'll be the gig from Saturday night. So I'll try to get the editing done and get it on YouTube for Sunday. So stay tuned at DJSB Vlogs.